Welcome to this gentle chair exercise routine created by therapists in the LEAP service at Toronto Rehab, University Health Network. This routine is for anyone who wants to effectively and safely move their bodies while sitting. Bonnie on your left, Kara in the middle, and Erin on your right will be showing variations on each exercise, so please pick an option that feels right for you. You know your body better than anyone. Start with doing movements that feel good and build up slowly. We'll encourage you to use your breath as home base for each movement. Allowing the breath to continuously and smoothly flow helps us to stay present and connected to our bodies and reduces risk of strain or injury. If there are times when you notice you're holding your breath, that could be a sign that you're forcing something or working too hard. Stay in a zone where the breath is flowing peacefully while you're challenging the body. Always consider your safety and comfort when selecting the appropriate chair for these exercises. For this routine, it's ideal to have a sturdy chair that has no wheels and no armrests. Some of you may find having a second chair within reach will be helpful. Also, have some water handy and take breaks or stop whenever you need to. We're going to start with a breathing technique called square breathing. Sit tall in your chair. Let's slowly exhale together. Now inhale through your nose to the count of two, slowly in your mind. Pause at the top of your inhale and hold the breath for a count of two. Then exhale fully for a count of two. Hold at the bottom of your exhale and count to two. Let's repeat this one more time together. Inhale, one, two. Hold, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two. Hold, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Hold, one, two. Now take several cycles of this breathing exercise at your own pace. You can try extending the count to three or four, or whatever feels comfortable for you. The first few times you practice square breathing, you may feel a little bit dizzy or lightheaded. This is normal. If this happens, stay seated and just resume your natural breathing cycle. With daily training, your body will adjust and the dizziness will pass. Working a few rounds of square breathing into your day can help to calm the nervous system. Complete your last cycle of square breathing. Find a natural, comfortable rhythm for your breath. Let's begin our movement practice. Start by shifting your body forward a bit. Draw the belly button in and back towards the spine and rock slightly backwards on your sitting bones. Now rock gently forward on your sitting bones, slightly increasing the arch in the low back. Repeat this rocking motion several times it's a very small movement. Focus on drawing the belly in at the underwear line as you rock the pelvis back. Focus on sitting tall and keeping shoulders back as you rock forward. The movement is happening mainly in the pelvis and the rest of the spine is just along for the ride. Okay, last one. 
Now sit tall, begin to circle the left shoulder. Let's circle backwards first. Sometimes it feels good to incorporate the torso a bit like Kara. Other times you may want to visualize the movement or use another arm to help like Bonnie. Change directions, circling forward a few times on the left. Let's repeat on the right side, circling the right shoulder back. Notice if there are any differences in sensations between the two sides. Whatever you notice is fine, it's just that way for now. Circle forward, breathing full, powerful breaths to enhance the movement. Now let's combine both shoulder movements together. Roll the shoulders almost wave-like so that as one shoulder rolls up, the other rolls down. Rolling backwards a few times. Let the torso sway and shift side to side. Change directions. Circling forward. Enjoying the movement and have a little fun with it. Nice work. Shift around a bit so you're sitting comfortably near the front of your chair. Lengthen up through the crown of the head and reach your chest up towards the sky. Reach one or both arms back behind you. Breathe into the chest and collarbones. Now release and come out of the pose. To counter this posture, take a forward fold. Place hands on thighs, round your spine into a C shape as you look down and breathe into the back. To come out of the pose, push down through your feet or hands and slowly roll up. Repeating that sequence again, sit tall, open the chest, inhale and exhale, draw shoulder blades together. Slowly release and fold over the thighs, curl down. Relax shoulders and neck and really let go in this posture. Some people like the feeling of swaying side to side or making small movements in the arms here. Come up slow, stacking your spine bone by bone. Nice. Breathe in and breathe out, hinge forward at the hips. Feeling the weight shift into your feet, push into the feet as you come back to tall sitting. Let's do four or five more chair squats, just like this at your own pace. Engage the muscles in the legs as if you were about to stand up out of the chair when you lean forward. Keep chest lifting and shoulders back. Breathe. Good. For the next few repetitions, if you like, as you hinge forward, you can reach with the arms. Pick a height for your arms that feels good for you. Great work. Last one. Bring your hands together near your belly or grab hold of your forearms. Shoulders relaxed and away from your ears, rock your arms side to side as if you were gently rocking a baby. Imagine drawing small figure eights with the elbows. Keep the neck relaxed. Excellent. 
Give your arms a good shake. Release any tension. Take a few deep breaths. Now gently sway your left knee side to side, like a windshield wiper. Keep your foot on the ground. You can use your hands to guide the leg back and forth. Nicely done. Switch to the right leg, swaying the hips side to side, lubricating and warming up the hips. For the next exercise, you may want to set up a second chair on the left side like Bonnie. Now bring your left leg out to the side of the chair and turn your body towards the left. Right knee spins and drops down towards the ground. If you want more stretch, inch the right foot back. Place hands on top of the front thigh or on the second chair. Lengthen up through the spine, roll your shoulders back and open your chest. Breathe in, grow tall. Breathe out, release through the right hip. Great. Draw belly in. Move slowly out of the posture and switch sides. Move the second chair over to your right. And when you're ready, take your right leg over to the right side of the chair. Swivel the left knee down. Walk the foot back until you feel a stretch. This should feel great on the front of the left leg. Grow tall and breathe deeply. We're going to repeat this sequence again on each side. Kara will be showing you an option for standing warrior one using the back of the chair. Pick whatever variation feels good and safe for your body today. Take your time to set up the pose with your left leg forward and your right leg back. If you're standing, the chair will be on your left side. Step the right leg back and bend the left knee Look down and make sure you can see your toes and your left knee isn't too far forward over your ankle. Like Aaron and Kara, you can experiment with reaching your right arm up. Let the breath flow deeply in and out. Changing sides. Set up your props. Right leg forward and left leg back. Draw the belly button in. Think tall, shoulders back. Relaxed face and flowing breath. Find some peace and ease in the posture even though you're working hard. One more deep breath. Good. Slowly come out of the pose. Let's windshield the legs together, moving left to right and releasing any tension in the legs and lower spine. We're halfway through our routine today. Now is a good time to get a sip of water and check in with yourself to make sure you're working within your therapeutic window, which is to say not too much and not too little. Reach down and thread your hands underneath your left thigh or grab your shin. Keep shoulders away from ears, draw lower belly in and hug the left knee up towards you. Breathe and enjoy the stretch in the back body. Just do what you can, that's enough. Change sides. Right knee hugs up. Notice how things may feel different from one side to the other. You can either sit tall like Aaron on the right or curl towards your knee like Kara in the middle. 
Release the leg and bring yourself to the front half of the chair. Open the legs wide apart, setting up for goddess pose. Stack your knees so they're directly above your ankles. Try to engage the muscles in your buttocks and hips to open the knees. Press down through the feet and sit tall, low belly drawing in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Shoulders down. Place palms on top of thighs. Take a deep breath in and turn a bit to the right. Exhale, bow left shoulder to right knee. Inhale to come up. Turn a bit to the left. Exhale, bow right shoulder towards left knee. Good. Let's cycle through this three more times on each side. Keep knees opening out through the sequence. Inhale to come up and exhale, bowing forward. Side angle pose. Inhale, as you exhale, take a side bend towards the left, stretching the right side of the body. Place left forearm on top of left thigh if you have the range. You can also reach the right arm up and gently turn the head to look upwards. On your next inhale, come out of the pose. Let's move to the other side. Open your chest up towards the sky. Turn your head to look up. Nice. Inhale to come up and let's repeat this again on each side. Exhale, lean left. Open through the chest. Draw right shoulder back. Look up. Take any arm position you like with the right. You can do this. Inhale, come up and exhale over to the right. Left shoulder back, chest opens, head looks up. Move towards the edge of your comfort zone and breathe into it. Enjoy the work and the feeling in the tissues as they stretch. On your inhale, come up and finally release the legs. Amazing. Let's release now by doing a few windshield wipers with both legs swaying left to right. Drink some water, so do whatever you need to do. Just think each time you do this, it's going to get easier. Okay, let's do a few rounds of seated cat cow. So placing your palms on your thighs. Inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, reach hands towards knees as you round the spine and look down. Inhale, slide hands towards you, lift the chest. And exhale, curl into a C-shape. Inhale, shoulders back, chest lifts. And exhale, curling forward. Sinking the movement with your breath. Doing a few more at your own pace. Draw belly in as you curl forward. Breastbone lifts up towards the sky as you sit tall. Good. Now sitting in tall mountain pose, inhale and exhale, look over your left shoulder and let your spine follow as you twist to the left. Pause when you feel you've reached your edge and breathe deeply in and out, in and out. Exhale, come back to tall mountain. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and exhale, turn head to the right and let the spine follow. Wherever you are, breathe and try not to collapse in the spine. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
and exhale, release. And we'll do this once more on each side. Exhale to the left, add any arm variation you like. Arms can reach for the left outer thigh, left arm can hook around the back of your chair or can reach behind you. Keep your shoulders down. Exhale, release. Looking to the right. Drop the shoulders. Breathing in, breathing out. And release back to Tall Mountain. Time to stretch the left hip. Open your left knee out to the side, rotating the hip outwards. Keep your left foot on the ground or grab your left shin and bring the ankle to a stool or chair in front of you or to your right thigh. The higher the left foot is, the more stretch you'll feel in the left hip. So adjust according to what feels good. You should feel an intense yet comfortable stretch in the outer left hip. Keep sitting tall. Inhale and exhale. We'll stay in this pose for a while to give these tight tissues a chance to release. Inhale and exhale. For more stretch, lean your upper body forward a bit more. Shoulders away from the ears. Nice. Still breathing. One more breath. Inhale to come up. Carefully release the left leg down and take your time to set up for the right hip. First, rotate the right knee and hip outwards. Decide on where you're going to place the foot, on the ground, stool, chair, or on top of the left thigh. There are always differences between the right and left sides of the body. In yoga, we attempt to balance those differences using awareness, gentle curiosity, patience, and lots of practice. Get into the position that feels good for you on the right, and now immersing yourself in the experience of breathing. Inhale and exhale deeply. Direct your breath to where it can be most helpful. To those places that are tight and closed off. One more deep breath. and slowly coming out of the pose. Release the right leg to the ground and switch over to the left side, circling the left ankle around. If this is a movement that's not available to you today, you can visualize it, like Bonnie. Keep going in one direction a few times and then switch directions. Nice. Breathing and sitting tall. Switch to the right side. Circle the ankle in one direction. And then change directions. Great work. Just four more exercises to go. On the left side, curl toes under on the ground like Kara, or use your hand like Aaron to get a stretch in the shin and top of the left foot. Breathe. And release. Change to the right side. If the foot is on the ground, try walking the leg back a bit to deepen the stretch, like Bonnie. Breathing in. 
breathing out. And release. Sitting tall. Shoulders back. Tuck chin in slightly and look down. You should feel a gentle stretch in the back of the neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly release by lifting the head back up to neutral. Next up, neck rotations. Option one, keep your head up and slowly look left and right. Option two, chin tuck, look down and then rotate the neck left and right as if you were drawing a smile with your nose. Good. Move slowly from left to right. Breathe into the belly and relax the shoulders. Keep going. Last one. Now give yourself a great big hug. Breathe into the upper back. And if your hand can reach, you can give yourself a little neck and shoulder massage. Just do what feels good and show yourself a little bit of love. Release, shake out your arms. And let's repeat with the opposite arm on top. The last exercise is a stretch for the backs of the legs, starting with the left. Straighten out the left leg. If you can, draw the toes up towards the nose. Sit up tall, draw the belly in. And as you breathe out, begin to lean forward until you feel a nice stretch in the back of the left leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Shoulders back, chest is lifting. Last breath, come on up slowly and switch to the right leg. Sitting up tall and as you exhale, leaning forward, reaching for the toes if you have the range or simply placing your forearms on your thighs. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Slowly coming back up. You did it, congratulations. We really hope you enjoyed this routine and that your body is feeling the benefits already. Shake out the limbs to get rid of any tightness or tension that may have accumulated in the body. Breathe and let go and shake it out. To close, we will guide you through a yoga breathing technique called alternate nostril breathing. This breathing technique is relaxing for the mind and body Sit in a comfortable position with the spine long and the hips relaxed. Release any tension from your jaw and close the eyes. Place one hand on your knee with palm face upward. Using the other hand, place index finger and middle finger in between the eyebrows. With the ring finger, 
and little finger touching one nostril and the thumb touching the other nostril. You'll be using the fingers to alternately close one nostril, then the other during this breathing exercise. Start by taking a few normal, effortless breaths in and out of your nose. The next time you begin to breathe out, gently close one nostril with your thumb. Breathe out and breathe in through the same nostril. At the end of your breath in, release the thumb and close the other nostril with your ring finger. Breathe out and breathe in through the same nostril. Good, that's one round. Let's do five to nine rounds of this breathing pattern. Close the nostril with your thumb, breathe out, and breathe in through the same side. Then switch, release the thumb, and press ring finger to close other nostril. Breathe out, and breathe in, don't force the breath, keep it gentle and natural. Doing a few rounds on your own. Breathe out and then in through the same nostril before switching. The more you practice, the easier it will be to coordinate. Now let both hands come down to your lap. Resume your natural breath cycle. Just breathing in through both the nostrils and breathing out through the mouth. Great work, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love making these videos for you. If you want to see more, please share your comments with us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Namaste.